change uh, between yesterday and this morning is that the Indian Army was able to make a temporary bridge in record time. And this bridge will now connect uh, the rescue workers uh, to the village that is most affected uh, by uh, the landslide and uh, where we are still seeing huge boulders and limited accessibility. Uh, the chances of uh, anyone surviving uh, in those remote areas, those isolated areas, is very limited, which is why uh, it is expected that the death toll may increase even further, making this one of the worst tragedies uh, that uh, Kerala, the state of Kerala, has faced in recent years. Uh, what we're hearing from our sources is that the teams have been divided into 40 groups. These 40 groups will be scanning through six key areas or uh, you know search zones, uh, and amidst them is the Chelyar River, the banks of the Chelyar River, which flows downstream because uh, since the past two days, uh, we've had several cases where bodies have flown, uh, have actually swung down, have been brought down by the gushing waters to the banks of the Chelyar River, and they have actually come down about six to seven kilometers. So that's where bodies are still being found. Uh, the rescue work has been hampered repeatedly by adverse weather conditions. Even today in Kerala, there are several districts, uh, including here in Vayanad, where an orange alert for extremely heavy uh, heavy rains has been sounded. So that certainly does uh, slow down uh, the, the rescue workers. Uh, additionally, we're also seeing the teams of the Coast Guard and the Navy being deployed, sniffer dogs from the Army unit being employed, and also uh, radar uh, drones are going to be put into use as well to understand uh, if there are any bodies uh, still buried in uh, some of the isolated areas. Uh, later today, we will uh, see uh, some more information coming uh, from the relief camps because those are areas uh, where relatives are still scrambling for information. Remember, there are over 200 people still missing after the landslide. So outside mortuaries, hospitals and relief camps, there are relatives uh, you know, scrambling for information and we're seeing some really heartbreaking scenes coming from there.